I'm going to have to go over here and climb up this wall. Hopefully there's a ghoul that doesn't come after me. Looks like there's a an artifact, like, right there. Might as well collect that while we're here, right? So that's 50, so I'm, like, just about 400 off of that ultimate ability uh, for melee. Which is unlimited executions for 20 seconds. Brother, hunter and hunted. Death takes them all. Oh, that was loud. I think we're almost there. This is a pretty linear path. Like it's pretty clear which way you're supposed to go here. Your heirloom must be here. What is this red stuff? I guess they're uh, herbs. We'll probably get overwhelmed by ghouls on the way out. So. But there is a fire there that I can use to explode and kill a whole bunch of ghouls with one shot. It's kind of nice. Made by the Dark Lord himself. I'm still covering in my family's blood. Don't do it. If you yell like that, you're going to awaken the ghouls. Biggin. Ghoul matrons. They will strike back quickly when you attack. Oh, holy crap, this thing has a lot of health. Luckily, the, uh, my race shot here kind of stuns it a little bit. And if you remember from earlier... We got a dodge here. Okay, so these enemies are actually a little bit challenging. Just dodge, hit once and dodge out of the way. Unless I can use an execution. Execution does not kill it. So this thing is kind of like an orc captain in a sense, in that it's really powerful. Oh, don't use the execution, it's a ghoul, that's such a waste. Wraith Flash. There we go. And execute. He's so close to dead, or I guess she, because she is a, a matron, so it's probably a, a female. Matron's down, it looks like. Wraith Flash. And, oh, is he gonna alert the, uh, the horde? I don't, I do not want him to do that. I guess ghouls go and alert other ghouls of your presence. Luckily I am full health though. Those fires will stop them. Alright, use fires. Oh my goodness. Mate. Just run. I'm, I'm trying to climb up the cliff here and he's like, nope. Not on not today. The fire does kill a lot of ghouls. I have to get out of here really quick, otherwise I'm gonna die, so. Luckily the fires don't hurt me, or at least don't hurt me too much. Just gotta be quick on the trigger with the fires there. I can use my burst of speed. Oh, that was quite easy. Look out, man! I think that thing's gonna blow. And 
another new character. Pity to end your military career inside the belly of a ghoul, eh? I'm Torvin, the beast hunter. And I bet ten pints you just nabbed the treasure I was after. I don't need it anymore. Now, I am grateful for the assistance. But it does not grant you proprietary rights. <laughs> Keep it! I just found something a lot more valuable. <laughs> and what would that be? My new hunting partner. Uh, what you hunt does not interest me, Master Dwarf. Even if it leads you to the chisel that belongs with that hammer. Every creature's got its lure. Yours just happens to be uh, very old. Well, if the thrill of the hunt takes your fancy, the camp's not far. Find the dwarf. The prophecy. To find the dwarf. What of your vision, Calibrimo? I used all that he had taught me and forged. We actually have um, water, more than one mission fire. available to us right now, which is pretty sweet. So I'm not forced into uh, doing one. Oh, there's a, a captain here. More captains have spawned. No. All right, where are we at exactly on the map? I'm not seeing it. I don't see it. Oh, all the way by the coast here. So there is a tower pretty close. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to explore, get some towers discovered so that I can fast travel, and then I'll be right back. And we are back. So I went around and discovered all the fast travel locations, as you can see here. Uh, it took a little while, but I think it's worth it. So now if I die or anything, or if I just need to travel from one place to another, it's going to be a lot more quick. And I also decided that we are going to continue with kind of the, the main, main storyline, because we've been doing that the last couple episodes. Uh, so it's probably a good idea to just continue on that and not deviate too much, but here we go. She looks really in a bad way. Thank you. I found the Mithril Hammer. Can your flames show me why my soul was denied death? Come on, man, don't ask too much of her. You. You are the victim of a blood sacrifice. Can the curse be broken? Destroy the Black Hand and his followers and claim Mordor. No men of Gondor will come to my head. <laughs> you don't need them. Of course not. I'm undead. I have unlimited tribes. followers. Willing or otherwise. Oh, I like the sound of that. do I do this? Your answers are in the fortress nearby, but what you seek may not be there for much longer. I'm kind of surprised the queen has just left all to herself if she's really uh, not doing this good. Okay, where are we headed? Is it on the mini-map yet? Not really. guess we just have to run it. Oh, avoiding detection? Come on, man. Again? Why do we always have to uh, avoid detection? We're given a time limit, too, man. You can't have both. You can't have stealth and a time limit. It just does not work. So, normally when I see groups of orcs huddled, huddled around a fire like that, my first... Um, instinct is to blast the fire but maybe that isn't such a good idea so do I have a fast travel point up here I guess not 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to run it. But how I can do that without being detected? I'll try my best. I might just have to uh, give the orcs a wide radius. Okay, I mean, they have a hint of where I am, but they haven't fully detected me yet. So I think I did it. I wasn't too bad. It is not them who seek, but what they carry. I will save them nonetheless. Don't be blinded by your emotions. Do you not realize that I am invincible? The Queen told us our answers to building an orc army lie within this fortress. If we brand those archers, we can build our army and save these men at the same time. I guess I just learned how to brand by going to the fortress, alright. So we can actually brand people in combat, that's pretty awesome. Oh, and we have to do it without getting detected. Well, if I'm able to do that, just like on the outer wall here, this shouldn't be too bad, but... Stealth brand. I'm working on it, man. Sup, dude? Now I have an archer on my side. Only one archer. Got a few more to go. There is an archer down there. Gondorians are invaders. Men are scourged. These villains take our lands, but no more. I don't know if I can get this guy. I don't know if you can do like a drop down brand attack. That sounds kind of OP. This guy looks like he's all by his lonesome here, so let's brand him. You are made to be cowed by so I'll probably be using this attack a lot, which is awesome. Something that you unlock late in the game that you use all the time. You don't always get that with uh, video games. So. Can I uh, use the zip line here? Can I stealth use the zip line? I don't think that's... I think I just managed to do it. I stealth used the zip line. All right. Okay, let's. Uh, where's the closest archer to me? I think there's one up there, but I want to get this one first. If I can. Yo. Come over here. I gotta say, the stealth in this game is fun, but sometimes it can be frustrating. When it's not hard, like this, it's not hard, then it's actually kind of fun. Making my own army is pretty sick, I gotta admit. Is there an archer up here? There's one right down there, so... What we're gonna do is sneak up behind him. Welcome to the... I almost said the dark side, but I guess, technically, we're the good guys, so... Gondorians are is a relic around here. I don't think I can get to it though. I need to get two more archers. The problem is these archers are kind of down within sight of the camp. So I gotta be really careful here. But again, orcs are stupid, so... It's pretty amazing that he couldn't see me there, but that's how it is. I don't think I'm going to do it in under three minutes. Oh, I'm right there. Oh, I didn't see how close he was to me. So we came pretty close to getting the bonus objective done, but that's not a big deal. That should be the sixth one. So how do I activate him? Let's go! Me and my archers. I could have probably taken out this whole camp myself, but, you know, I appreciate the help, so. Let's take out this guy first. I don't want him uh, getting any ideas with the prisoners. I'll become one of my... 
you're not betrayed, you're literally having your minds taken over. I'm going for the headshot here. But that guy kept moving. I'll go for the stationary headshots. Look at my archer here just helping me out. This is awesome. I love this ability. Oh my goodness. And a Wraith Flash. And execute you, because, uh, of course, the guys with the shields and spears typically are the most problematic. Using some of these new abilities just makes combat so easy. Like, when I first started this game, I was actually having trouble with just orcs, and now it's like, no problem. And we just wipe out a camp of... I guess there's uh, 15 enemies we had to kill, as well as the 6 archers, so we wipe out a camp with 21 orcs in like 4 minutes. That's how OP you can get when unlocking some of these abilities. The Lady of the Shore send you to our aid. The Queen warned us to wait until the end of the battle. Then the orcs spotted I us. I told you, the visions always come to pass. Uh, yes, but I told you not to. Do you have something for me? Uh, Queen Marwyn sent us to find this. It's another circle. All right. I'm getting steam messages. Hopefully that's not too annoying. Oh, right through the cheek. That would suck. These cutscenes, uh, at least in the main storyline, are really well done graphically. I thought he was going to go for the mouth, but he went for the, uh, the chest shot there. You're a goner. You can't 1v1 Sauron. Unless you're really, really good. I'm guessing that's probably how he died. Oh, there's reinforcements coming. Come on, son. Take out that hunter, because hunters are really important that you take out quickly because they can break your combos, and you don't really want that to happen. We should be using this Wraith Flash more and more often now that we have it in large crowds of orcs like this. I used the ray flash there, but didn't get it off in time. I think that orc berserker. I want to take out that shield guy. Oh, those stupid orc berserkers, they break your combos so easily. Like that. I gotta say, the orc enemy types are a lot more varied in this area than they, uh, they were in Mordor. There's a lot more, like, hunters and berserkers and stuff, which... Oh my goodness! I got comboed! I got, like, hit by three of them right back to back to back. It's so annoying. Never again. I'm done with you. Permanently. What, did I get hit by another hunter? What's going on here? Everyone's dead. Alright, fair enough. It is one thing to kill these Uruk, it is another to make them our followers. It is a gift. We can use the weapon of the enemy against him. Yeah, totally. I'm, a, I'm all for that. You know, our main character here, he's kind of a stick in the mud sometimes, I'll be honest. He can be a bit... What the... Who are you? <laughs> this 
will be no contest at all. Shall we skip straight to the torture and scream? Sure, yeah. Um, I agree. It will not be a contest. Okay, this guy has an unblockable attack. It looks like. So I guess he's classified as a berserker. And that's why he's so crazy good. Let's get out of here, man. I'm trying to kill your captain here. Execution. There's like nothing to him. Race flash. All right. And now I can grab you and I can dominate you. I think this is actually going to be my... Oh, and he freaking his stupid minion orcs. Uh, broke him out of the animation there. Now his minion orcs are dead, and I can actually brand this. Make this my first branded captain. So now this guy's my bro. He's dominated. I can use him to uh, do stuff. What's up, dude? You almost killed me, but hey, it's all good now. We're on the same team. <laughs> wow. So you really got a kick out of that corner of wall. Um, so this guy, wow, he's actually an elite captain, and he answers to one of the um, war chiefs here. So what can I actually make this guy do? Protect or dominate pug. So, I'm not really sure what I can actually make this guy do. I mean, he's mine now. Um, okay, well, I mean, I guess he's on my side. I know you can get them to, like, betray their superiors and stuff, but I'll learn how to do that off camera, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, he seems like a pretty nice chap once you get back past the uh, whole thing of him trying to kill you and all. After that, I mean, I can totally see him being a good person to get along with. Um, what's next? On the next story mission, I suppose. So that's our first elite captain dealt with. Which is nice. It's nice to get them out of the way. Uh, I guess we'll continue on with the main quest. But we'll do that next time. So thank you guys for watching. See you next episode where hopefully we'll be able to brand more captains. Because that is a fun concept.